Well, welcome to week 20, my little angels. This week has a lot of information in it. We are starting off the week with our Monday math middle of year benchmark. That's like a practice star test, but they made it shorter. Hallelujah. So it's only 22 questions, but it is really important data and it's district requ required. So all of the information that you're going to need for that is going to be linked and live <clears throat> starting at 9.30 a.m. on Monday. You'll notice that the whole interactive image is late to post because we didn't want that any kids to access the benchmark too early without getting the directions. So when you start your test, whether it's in person or virtual, with a small group or not, you're going to follow each of these steps, one, two, three, four, five. It's going to tell you everything you need, complete with screencasts and the directions. It's a little weird because we're taking the test in blend, but we're also inputting the data into another database because the district requires that. So it's kind of, you're going to be like, what, didn't I already do this? Yes, you're going to kind of put your answers in twice. And your teachers that are administering the test, you will explain that to you. So don't worry about memorizing it, but just know that Monday is a very important day to be to class on time. Um, and all of your questions should be answered with all these weird little hotspots. And the good news is you have no other live classes um, and no should do or must do requirements for the day. And so hopefully we can kind of pay you back for the joy, I mean the pain, of a benchmark test. After that, we're going to be talking about money stuff, taxes, budgets, ledgers, income, and there are lots of interactive Nearpods in the practice section of this week's image, as well as lots of games. All of the money games are in green and all the regular practice games are in gray or black. And then the extend section, I've got a new thing for you. If you see this little rocket ship, that means that it is a sixth grade skill and a sixth grade practice sheet. Those of you interested in moving to an advanced math class next year, I would definitely encourage you to go to these. When you click on them, you'll see that it has the tutorial of how to do the this math. The like for example, this one is multiplying with fractions, but it has negative fractions in there. And if you watch the video, it'll show you exactly how to do the math. And it might be too quick of a tutorial for you to really get it. But for some of you, I think that you can get what you need from just a two minute instructional video and getting exposure to that sixth grade stuff would be so awesome if you're planning on trying for the seventh and eighth grade class or a Keeling um, application and all of that. So thanks for watching. Thank you for uh, your patience with the benchmark. I think it's going to go okay. And if you have any questions, you know where to find us. All right. Have a good one. Oh my gosh, I forgot to tell you that underneath that was like, what's that, what's that star? This star is all of your vocab that you would need for this unit that we did not make you write in your notebook because we love you. And so if you are like, wait, I forgot what gross income was or what property tax is, you can click on this red star in the toolkit and you'll get all the vocabulary that you need. Whew. There's a lot going on this week, guys. Have a good one. Looking forward to seeing you.